And his first pass is complete to Groshek out of the backfield. And that'll bring up third and long. Yeah. We'll highlight that more as we go. Now a six-year senior out there at right guard. And they're going to go to Groshek again on the screen and able to pick up the first down. High formation on third and one, but Mertz wants to throw it. He's going for the end zone, caught, touchdown! Mason Stocky right here at fullback. Somebody on the defense for Illinois has him in coverage. You can see a bunch of people looking in the backfield. Stocky in the end zone. Third down at 17, getting it out quickly to Jack Dunn. And Jack Dunn trying to do the rest! He's going to be dropped short, though, with a marker. He couldn't escape the last tackle to Sidney Brown. Graham Mertz on second and ten. Finds Jake Ferguson. And the... Boy, that's not the ball. It's a shoe that pops free. <laughs> Thought it was him again. You mentioned the seven force fumbles he had last year to lead the nation. Not that time, though. Just a shoe. Third and three. Over the middle and caught. Danny Davis. His first catch. So watch this throw right over the linebacker. It's a deep dig route, deep in, and he gets it. Well, we'll get back to it. Wisconsin getting up to the line quickly, dumping it underneath. Jake Ferguson is dropped short on rundowns and sets him back. So they empty the backfield, and Birch patiently finds Groshek. Groshek stretching out. He's close, 300 pounder, but commits the penalty and that sets up this off the play action. Graham Mertz is going to tuck and run, he's got some good speed and easily picks up the first down on a gain of 13, stepping out at the 20. 14th play on this drive, play fake, wide open, there you go, touchdown, it is Jake Ferguson. Right here is Ferguson. You see him he's acting like he's blocking down and he fools the fighting Illini defense. That was Derek Smith, eyes in the backfield. And it backs him up to second and 13, so they go screen. And getting it out to Jack Dunn to get some of that yardage back. Being very careful with the football, making smart choices. Has two touchdown passes on those 11 completions. Trying to make it 12 for 12. He drops that right in the breadbasket of Jake Ferguson. What a beauty. He drops that in there. It's an out and up by Ferguson. Really not terrible coverage by Ware, but a perfectly placed ball. And Mertz is out there as the day one starter. And he's going for the end zone again. And it's caught again by Jake Ferguson, his second touchdown of the first half. About two big receptions on this drive, and Mertz with an absolutely perfect throw. All kinds of time, he's going deep. And it's caught at the 10 and into the end zone, Danny Davis. Four touchdown passes in your debut in the first half. Again, the middle of the defense, deep for Illinois, an issue. Trying to make it 15 for 15, and he will pitch and catch to Kendrick Pryor. So they got back 11 yards, but still third and five. Trying to set up a screen. Jack Dunn not going to get there. A close, close call, and it favors the 14th-ranked Badgers. And that was one that Illinois really needed. Here's Graham Mertz going back to work. And he's just going to tuck this and head for the sideline. A long way to go. Some pressure, and there's Pryor making up for the turf monster fall as he catches it into Illinois territory. First down, Wisconsin. A chilly 32-degree night in Madison. Third and seven, Mertz looking for Kendrick Pryor, and he's got him. First down. As we've got 15 minutes left, and Wisconsin owning a 28-7 lead, and Garrett Groshek taking this down near the 25-yard line. Pops free, but he was out of bounds. All the way down, every single play. Run, 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 run. And this time they'll pass it, and look who is wide open. 
Jake Ferguson. October 19th in Champaign. October 23rd, 2020. Belongs to Graham Merch, Jake Ferguson, and the Wisconsin Badgers. Oh, <laughs>